guys, I'm Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share with you guys how I like to paint furniture. And I actually, this is probably my one of my favorite pastimes to do. It's always been a hobby of mine to find old pieces and flip them. And I like to use chalk paint. And my intent today was actually, I'll get it. So paint the piano with some chalk paint and linen white. So this stuff is the Rust-Oleum. You can't see it under here because it's all messed up. <sighs> I used this on the cabinets and I really liked it. Um, I have used Annie Sloan. I have some Annie Sloan chalk paint, but it's in ebony. And I don't want to paint it black. I don't want to paint it too dark because there's enough darkness down where the kitchen is. Um, because our kitchen is kind of like in the basement of the house. It's on the lower floor. Our split level was designed backwards in my mind. So it should have been the kitchen on the second floor and the bedrooms downstairs like a traditional split level. But honestly, it works out really well because with the dogs and the outside stuff, having them come down here onto the concrete floors is so much easier. But anyway, I'm getting off top. So I'm out of this stuff. It's empty, it's got a little bit of water because I diluted it and used it to do our fireplace. So I'm going to use I have to go over a million times. So we actually got this to go because I had chalk painted the kitchen cabinets with Rust-Oleum chalk paint. And I don't like it. <laughs> um, the chalk paint, I didn't put any kind of seal over it because I still wasn't sure after I did it. Um, and now I think what I'm gonna end up doing is going over it with Valspar. Um, this is white, what color of white? I don't remember the shade. I think it's just pure white, yeah. Um, I don't wanna spill it because it's pretty full. But what I'm doing to the piano is not painting it completely. So I really don't know if this is going to be much of a tutorial or if this is more y'all just watching me mess up my piano. I don't know. Um, it's already been painted a couple times. You can see on some of the corners and on the edges where it looks like they, it was, you know, a darker stain. They might have sanded it, painted it another color, and then they finished it off in this gray. And that was the last color that was painted. But my walls are all gray, so the piano kind of blends in and just, it's so much gray, I can't handle it. Um, so we're gonna try a couple different things and I'm just gonna go with it and see how, I, like let you guys see my process on how I decide what I like to do. And I'm gonna start out by dry brushing some of the details on the piano and then kind of seeing, I don't really want a whole bunch of stroke marks and stuff. I'm not using a roller though, I'm only gonna use a paintbrush. So we're just going to kind of roll with this project today. I thought I'd bring you all along for the for the ride and we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to try dry brushing just a few areas and I just dip the tip of my paintbrush into the paint. Okay and then kind of come off the bottom and then I'm going to use a paper towel and just kind of scrape some of it off on the paper towel first. So here we go. I, <laughs> Ava's helping me. Come here, child. <laughs> the daughter is here. She's the witness. So if anything happens to me. What? I don't think we didn't. Oh, I know. So I'm just going to kind of come over it and up trying to hit like the high points pretty much and just see like how I like that. So it looks kind of like a distressed I guess is what I'm going for. Like so not every nook and cranny has paint on it because I don't mind the gray. I'm just trying to tone down the gray if that makes sense. Like I hope that makes sense. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Thank you, child. But just kind of 
paying some of the details up here. It's one of my favorite parts is the little. And it's just kind of something. Like, I like some of it. I like how some of it looks. I really like how this looks. This side looks really good. But there's like some spots where you can see it's a lot more paint on it than I wanted. So I might go over those and knock it. But I do like how this looks. If I could get the whole piano to look like that, that might work. And then I haven't done the top, but you can see where all the chips are. And on this side, so y'all don't freak out thinking I'm painting an antique. Like right here, there's the natural, I don't know if it'll focus. There's the natural piano, white. And then there's like a, a pinkish color. And then the gray. So it's been painted, this piano has been painted for a while like several times. So I don't know, we're just gonna keep going. I'm not gonna be able to get this whole side until later. So I'll just get what I can reach right now with the dry brushing technique and we'll see what it looks like when it's done.
guys, so this is after uh, the first coat of dry brush. I really like this side better by the time that the brush kind of ran out. I didn't get, I got down as far as I could reach on the sides. I'll have to finish that when I get somebody to pull it out for me. But it doesn't look, it doesn't look exactly like I wanted, but it doesn't look horrible. So I'm gonna hit the darker spots where the brush kind of touched a little lighter. I'm gonna hit that with a sanding block and just try to knock some of that off. And especially right here when I first started, I just pushed down, you have to dry brushing, you have to just <clears throat> press really lightly. You don't even have to put pressure on it really and just drag your brush. And I think when I first started, I just pushed way too hard, but I don't know, we'll see. This side looks cattywampus too. So I'm gonna see what a sanding brush can do. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my sanding sponge and knock off some of it. And I'm gonna have, Ava's gonna help me. Ava's gonna move the camera closer so y'all can see what it looks like when I do it. But this really just takes off the, it takes off pretty much anything. So you could sand most of the paint off if you wanted to. But I'm gonna start right here and just lightly kind of nick it across to hit some of that off. Okay, so you just want to do real light and you just want to kind of scuff it across. You see how that actually took it down there. It looks like there was yellow even at one time. This, this piano has been there, done that evidently. So I'm just going to hit these spots and scuff it up a little bit, especially where it was really thick, like where I really didn't like it. the piano in its new distressed form. I still see a little bit more than I would like to see here. I might take some, go back with some fine grit, but I do like the way that some of the spots turned out. I mean, it definitely adds to that more shabby, chic kind of farmhouse style down below. Cat. So yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. It looks better than being, to me, it looks better than being dark. Like this side kind of reminds me of just a very old kind of well-worn piano. I might do the fine grit paper over at one time just to clean up some of those blotchier spots. But yeah, I think that looks good. Mm -hmm. 